What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Jeffrey Gamer Tutorials. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to be updating. Uh, for me, I'll be updating uh, plugins that I already have in my game. Uh, I think it was today or yesterday. Uh, Bajojo, Bajojo, I think his name is. He he updated stop the pads and um, ultimate backup, which is cool. It shows that this creator, this modder, is still active and still updating his plugins so that, you know, it, they get better and better every time. And ultimate backups, which was again updated uh, Wednesday. So I went to go into my game to make a patrol video, and my callouts told me that all these updates were needed so we're gonna go ahead and do that as you all know all the links will be down below and let's start off by clicking the uh bajojo the uh stop the peds uh we'll start with the stop the peds uh um plugin and that's going to bring you to this screen right here it's going to be stop the ped volume 4.9.1.1 and in this, it tells you all the features, but some of the new features that it has, which I think is pretty cool. Um, it's got a taser laser, which will equip your taser with a laser sight. Um, I like this one here. You have the option in Stop the Ped menu to ask the ped to sit on the ground. And you can still question. Now you can question them while they're sitting on the ground or kneeling on the ground. So you can look at all the improvements here and the new features here. And what you're going to want to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom and go ahead and download this. Uh, if you're downloading this right now, it's going to, my WinRAR tells me, uh, or my computer, I don't know, tells me that Stop the Ped is not commonly downloaded because it was just um, updated and not too many people have downloaded it. So usually my, my computer tells me that. Go ahead and keep it. Everything this guy puts out has been phenomenal. I've never had any issues with him. So you can go ahead and X out of that screen. Go ahead and click the next link that is going to say Ultimate Backup, and it's going to bring you to this screen. Now in Ultimate Backup, you can look at those, uh, the new features in that, and you can see that your police buddy will now have a laser sight. And, um, you know, tweak the dismissal distance so the backup or partner will not be so easily dismissed or disappear after a pursuit. You know, you can read through all of that stuff there. Uh, so go ahead and click that download. Now, let me just show you this real quick. It won't... No, it doesn't really tell you how many people have downloaded it in this. Usually it tells you, but that's okay. I just wanted to show you if it's low. Now, this was just updated... Yesterday, I mean, well, yes, it's 12.30 in the morning where I am, but, um, yeah, it was yesterday. So we're going to go ahead and download that, and, of course, it's going to tell me the same thing, so we want to keep that. All right, that's all set, and we can X out of uh, both of, how do you say this guy's name? Bajoy Joe, Bajoy Joe, that's an I there, not an L, Bajoy Joe. I like saying that. Francisco. Okay, so now go ahead and click that link that says United Callouts. And it's going to bring you to this page right here. And this was, um, you know, it'll tell you some of the features and, um, you know, all your callouts right here. And what's new. Um, I think it's more of improvement in burglary into apartment. There are now two options for the burglar. So a lot of the file changings and stuff like that, but uh, you know this one might be pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and and yeah, you can see he updated this at uh, Wednesday night. So we're going to go ahead and download this file. And of course, as you all know, you can download it to your desktop, to your download folder. I just usually just pick mine right off of this. Um, right off of this uh the, the top of the taskbar here and i usually just open them up and go through all this because i don't pay for winrar i don't think anybody does i think everybody that i've seen 
use WinRAR has this little box that pops up. We're all cheap, right? So I open them all up and put them all down here, my little WinRAR tab, so they're all there. So you can go ahead and X out of your web browser. And all we're going to need for this, folks, is your GTA main directory. So go ahead and pull up your file explorer. And uh, for Steam users, uh, the way you get to your main directory is, and mine in this case is in my local disk C. And you're going to go to program files times 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, and Grand Theft Auto. So here's your main directory. Now, I suggest you go back to your common and you right click your main Grand Theft Auto file and pin to quick access. Okay, you do that, it slings it on over here. That way, whenever you go into your file explorer, instead of having to go through all that Steam, Steam apps times 86, all you do is just click that right there, boom, brings you right in. So, as you know, we're not gonna install files in these folders. We're not going to install files down here in this, these three, uh, files right here we're gonna do it right around here I like to pick the ELS or you can just hug this scroll bar right here when you put them in so go ahead let's go ahead and uh, yeah, we'll start with uh, stop the pad and we'll sling that over there so you can get a better look at it I'm starting to use words I've seen criminal justices tutorial videos so much I mean I I'm trying to get my own style here but I keep Catching myself saying stuff that he says, sling it on over. Just sling it on over. <laughs> Guy's amazing, man. True inspiration for me, he's been. So that's pretty cool. So what you're going to do is you're going to double-click that stop the pet. Now, you have a Rage Native UI. Now, if you have other mods, chances are this one is going to be updated because it's in an updated uh plugin so what you're gonna do is you are just to just to see I want to show you a little trick that I learned that I'm sure most of you probably already know but if you want to take this rage native and remember what I said drop it right in here don't go down here if that highlights like that that's bad okay just drop it you know what you could just hug it right here now when you let it go it's gonna say replace the file if you're not sure if the rage native UI DLL that you already have in your file see I have one right here okay if you're not sure that this is the right one or an updated one you can compare just click this and compare it and it'll tell you that the one that I already have is from October 31st of 2019 the one that he has is from February 18th 2018 so <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep this one here so you just click that and just hit continue okay so little tip for you there now we're gonna go ahead and take this plugins and you're just gonna highlight this plugin bring it right to here by your scroll bar or you can go over here not here oh boy not right there okay you're just gonna keep it right here and you're just gonna let it go now because I already have stop the pad installed we're gonna go ahead and replace those files and you can see my plugins folder highlighted which means you go in to plugins LSPDFR and there's my stop the pad there and if you go down here there's my stop the pad here now this right here is what you call an INI file in here you can change the keys um, whatever you want to you know do specific things in the game now I usually leave mine alone because this was one of the first mods I put in so I pretty much modded a lot of the my recent plugins around this because this is like one of your main plugins okay I mean this is gonna have a lot of stuff in it you could change it however you want okay me I leave mine alone there's not really much in here that I change I'm used to having the E button there and the G button there and the T key there you know so I'm gonna leave mine the, the way it is okay if you change it don't forget to hit file 
save and you're good to go. So we are all set with stop the pad. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to refresh this and we're going to go back out to our main directory and we're going to refresh that. Alrighty, next one we're going to pull up is ultimate backup. Okay, you're going to double click that ultimate backup. Same thing, you got the Rage Native UI. So let's go ahead and remember, like I said, you don't want to put it anywhere where those folders are, okay? See how those folders want to suck that right in? You don't want to do that. Same thing with this down here. It wants to suck it right in. You don't want to do that. Try to stay right around here or just hug this scroll bar right here and drop it in. We're going to compare it. And let's see. Same thing. Same as the other one. So we're going to want to keep the files that are already in my Grand Theft Auto folder and continue. And that's good to go. And again, folks. Same thing, just grab this plugins folder, hug this scroll bar, let it go. Yes, we want to replace it, and there you go. Once your highlight, once your plugins folder highlights, you know it went in there, and you can go double check. And there it is. Remember what I said about ultimate backup? It's going to have that little cog right there, that little sprocket. That's your INI file, you can click it. And it's going to show all of your ultimate backup. Now, for me, I use my ultimate backup menu is under U, capital U. Um, that's where I'm used to having it. And I also put, go in your controller, toggle, modifier, panic button. This right here. Uh, I like to put this button here toggle the menu button to oh what is the name of that key I'll have to look that up before I go back in I like to put this on my uh, right joystick uh, the right joystick button because when you're in a pursuit mode and you're chasing somebody for me anyways I don't want to have to come down and hit my U key, okay? I like to just tap in my right uh, joystick, and it brings up my ultimate backup pursuit menu, which, uh, you know, it'll, you could do spike strips and all that stuff right there, super easy, a um, lot better than having to release your controller while you're doing 150 and, you know, selecting your, um, your, your menus. I just can't remember what the code is for um what to put in there i want to say it's like right stick i don't know but i'm going to save it because i did change that u key here so we'll save that i'll i'll figure it out on my own i'm not going to waste your guys time so we're all set with ultimate backup okay and finally we're going to go ahead and pull up this united callouts criminal justice what do you say sling it on over I love that guy. Now, documentary, which is usually the README. All the Readmes will tell you exactly how to do it. United Callouts DLL, United Callouts INI, go inside your plugins LSPDFR folder. Put the audio folder in LSPDFR audio scanner. Now, sometimes when you do this, oh, it's all already there. See, look at that. So, sometimes they'll put it in where you have to do them individually but when they're like this you're good to go so we're going to refresh this go back to our main directory refresh it oops refresh it okay okay same thing folks kind of scroll down a little bit till you see this ELS easy hook you know the DIN put you're going to highlight both of these drag them right here and drop them in Yep, you want to replace those files, and boom. <coughs> plugins LSPDFR, your plugins in LSPDFR highlighted. So you know it went in right. LSPDFR, now we're going to go to United Callouts. There's a little sprocket. Go ahead and click that. And this is your, this is a short INI file. Um, this is pretty similar to... Uh, a tutorial video I just did the other day I 
I like to, um, I've got a lot of call outs that have drug dealers, um, person, no, 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 stolen truck, plane, cut money, money truck is robbed. I've got like three call outs that have that. So all you do is you want to go down to wherever you see false. If you want to change any of these to false, you're going to highlight that false, false. You're going to right click it. You're going to copy it. And if there's armored person, I've got like three of those also. You're going to highlight the true and just paste the false over it. And what that will do is that will take this call out. You could still select it through your call out manager. It just won't load it through the random call out manager. Okay. So um, plugins, which are currently only working with all open interiors. You can download OAI here. So we want to put these to true because I have open all interiors installed. So we want to copy these, copy the true, and we're going to paste that on all three of these. If you don't have open all interiors installed on your in your game, keep these at false. Okay, you don't want to take any chances on having, you know, whenever a call out comes out, it's going to have your game crash or anything like that. So keep these at false. If you want to know how to open, uh, install open all interiors, let me know in the comments below and I'll do a video on it for you guys. And it'll tell you here the keys and call. You just hit the end call, the end, uh, the end key. So, and I think everything looks pretty good here. So because I made changes, we're going to save that and we're going to exit out of that. Go ahead and exit out of that and refresh go to your main directory refresh and you can exit out of that and that's it guys that that's it for those three uh call outs you should be good to go um thank you all for joining me i am at 59 subscribers i'm excited about it. i know it doesn't sound like much but man to me it's the world uh like i said i'm trying to hit 75 if i hit 75 i go live or I make a video with the camera on me. I know everybody's into the whole having the camera on the gamer while they're playing or while they're doing the tutorial. I'll do that at 75 subscribers at 100. I want to do a giveaway for you all. So please, let's get to 100. Um, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like and ring that bell so you know when the giveaway is going on. Okay, You're going to want to know whenever new content's added. For those of you that have already joined me and joined my channel, thank you all so much. I love you guys. I mean, I do this for you, and I, I'm, I'm sincere when I say I, I'm happy when I can put stuff out there for you guys. So enjoy the new call-outs, plug them in your game, and go catch some bad guys. Until next time, folks, Jeffrey Gamer's out. Stay safe, stay healthy, be cool, follow the rules, obey the law. Take care.